Hammer's Senate threatens to remove one perk to make them do their job by Adam Casolino, Politics U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. President Donald Trump recently called out the Senate for their slow movement on key tasks. He urged them that they would have to give up one of their precious perks if they can't get their work done. Now 16 Republican leaders are following his lead. Even with President Donald Trump scoring unprecedented wins for America, much more needs to be done. He has up to 300 nominations waiting to be approved by the Senate. Those are key leaders who need to serve across government, but pretty uh, petty, actually. Democrats and insider uh, Republicans are slow walking the approval process. That's not to mention many other issues that uh, need to be addressed. The Senate is made up of uh, elected officials. They are supposed to serve the American people. Essentially, they work for us, and they get paid very well to do so. Yet, thanks to their corruption and petty party politics, very little ever gets done. It begs the question, why do we put up with them? Congress makes numerous promises to voters. How often do they make good on those promises? They only accom- their, their only accomplishments uh, we've seen recently Uh, have happened because President Trump has strongly urged them to do so, like the historic tax cuts. So, once again, Trump is forced to drop the hammer on the Senate. Donald Trump's tweet here, the Senate uh, should get funding done before the August break or not go home. Wall and border security should be included, also waiting for approval of almost 300 nominations. Worst in history, Democrats are are doing everything possible to obstruct all they know how to do. Stay, as is so common, a single tweet by the uh, commander-in-chief is having uh, huge consequences. 16 Republican senators, led by Senator David Perdue, are giving their GOP leaders more leverage to cancel the August recess and force senators to work weekends if a long list of presidential nominations remain stalled and spending bills unpassed by the end of July. The senators signed a letter to Senator Majority Leader Mitch McConnell urging him to confront Democrats' historic delaying tactics Uh, starting by keeping the Senate in session on Mondays, Fridays, and through weekends. We offered our support for anything that leadership felt we needed to do to accomplish two goals, to speed up the nomination process and keep the government funded by the end of the year, Purdue told reporters Tuesday, source Fox News. Don't question the power of Donald Trump on Twitter, but honestly, do these uh, scumbags think that they can take off for vacation after this year? Democrats in the Senate have dragged their feet on uh, on every important issue. Remember the beginning of the year they shut down the government? They refused to work with Trump over DACA. That's after Trump promised to craft a compromise. Now we have numerous nominations that are being ignored and other issues related to funding. These are the same people who appear on cable uh, news and complain about the president. Really? Donald Trump is doing historic things for this country. All we see from the Senate are bloated con artists who refuse to do their job when they're not attacking good people like Gina Haspel. The fact that at least 16 senators are willing to put their vacation on hold is a good sign. At least some of our leaders are willing to put their personal needs aside for the good of the country. But what about the rest of the GOP? Why aren't they willing to forego their break, at least for a bit, until these pressing needs are addressed? Can you imagine any other job getting away with this? Oh, yes. Uh, Boss, I'll take care of these important reports after I come back from the Bahamas. Something tells me a person who does that won't have a job when they come back from vacation. Yet, time and again, we give these senators a pass. 
If they are neglecting their job and the American people, we must find people to replace them. The midterms are coming up. These senators better do their job or we'll find people who can. Uh, yeah, they just drag their feet, you know, and they're supposed to be working for the public, yet they don't work really on Mondays, Fridays, you know. <laughs> Unbelievable. And, and how much are they getting paid? I mean, Trump wants to get work done and they just want to go on vacation. Isn't that nice? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.